Hello, guys. How are you? Hello, Dennis. How are you today? Dennis, can you hear me? Hello? Hello, Miss. How are you? Oh, very tired. Why? You worked yeah. all day. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Nana Yancy. How are you today? I am fine. Thank you. Okay, very good. You worked, Nana Yancy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, out, Sally. Uh -huh. I, I went out. I went uh, uh, out at uh, 7 o'clock. Oh, p.m. Yeah, p.m. Wow, very late. And did you have dinner? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you are going to be hungry in the class. Hungry yeah. in the class. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and I see why why did you uh, go out late from your work? Why? Okay. Uh, uh, every day. Every day. Mo Sunday a uh, uh, Monday. Really? Wow. <laughs> wow. That is incredible. Very okay. tiring. Very tiring, Ana Yancy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Carmen, good to see you again. Thank you, teacher. Nice to see you again, too. I'm sorry. I have to, to talk with the Insofar team because I was a very, very tired day. Awful. Oh, you were working, right? I read your messages on the group. Yes, 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 because my... Yes, my in my team my boss was on vacation, so I have to cover this 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 task and other views. So it was very hard, but we are ready to leave. Okay, very good. So you haven't completed you. the the assignments yet. No, yet uh, I have to do this week. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. Yes. yes, you have time yet. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see, there are some people getting in. All right. Danny, you finished the platform, right? What? You finished the platform. Uh, no, it's day and day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Carmen, no. before, before I forget, tonight you stay with me, okay? After the class. Today? Yes, today. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put here. Carmen, you said. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Lourdes, welcome back. <laughs> Hello, good evening, teachers. Sorry for not present yesterday okay what happened to you i i have a meeting uh, in the work in my work okay but now you are here we missed you yesterday Lourdes, because you are very smiley oh, all the you. time <laughs> thank you teacher okay karina hello karina hello Hello, How are you? I'm good. And you? We were waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you complete, Karina, the, the homework from yesterday in the platform? Um, no. The, uh, I did the first, but not the second. Oh, okay. Remember, you need to continue working on that, okay? Okay. okay, so I'm going to pass the attendance list, guys. Hello, officially, to everyone. 
Uh, let's see. Make sure, guys, that you say present because if I see or I don't listen to you, mm, we are going to have trouble. Okay, Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Ana Yancy. Here, teacher. Carmen. Present. Okay, Cesar Heriberto. Present, teacher. Claudia, not here yet. Okay. Danis. Present. Okay. Dolores. Present. Dolores, hello. Hello, teacher. Good to see you here. Thank you. Okay. Eduardo. Edwin. Edwin. Not here. Fidel. Eh, Karina. I'm here. Katia Margarita. Present teacher. Katia, what happened to you? I'm working. Okay. Lo urdes. Hello, teacher. Present. Okay. Luis. Luis hasn't come yet. Okay. Nelson Ivan. Nelson? No? Okay. Eh, Oscar. Oscar, welcome. Present. Uh, you didn't come yesterday, Oscar. Yes, this day. English Corporativo called me. Mm -hmm. Yes, because you are very punctual in the classes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Susana Carolina. Susi hasn't come yet. Okay, maybe she incorporates later. Okay, guys, so um, good evening. Officially, we are about to start with the class. And well, we are missing like seven classes to finish the course. I hope that you are completing the activities in the platform okay it's really important and i was checking the platform and the and the mistakes you know i was checking and well i guess that they are all corrected what you need to do is to try to not to leave the blank spaces or put any dots or commas okay you gotta make sure of that okay so keep on working on that Let's see. We have a, the topic for tonight. That is how to use idioms. Today, tonight, better say, we are going to check the part number one. Well, I told you, this week has interesting topics. Maybe for some of you, these topics are new and maybe for some others, these topics aren't new, all right? But the idea here is to learn and to reinforce the knowledge that we have, if so, all right? So idioms, what comes to your mind when you listen to the word idioms? Do you know what idioms are? Mm -hmm. Anybody? In, in Spanish, serán las, las muletillas o los puentes. Mm, something like that, okay. But idioms, okay. Another Another opinion before I tell you. Before I tell you, thank you, Oscar. Karina, what do you understand by idioms? I don't remember, teacher. I don't know exactly. Okay, Lourdes, do you remember what idioms are? Hmm. Maybe the specific words in, in places, for example, uh, in 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 our country, paila, 
Uh, I don't know. Okay, guys. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, in Spanish, es como los modismos. Ajá, uh -huh. something like that. Yes. Thank you, Cesar. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay. So don't worry. We are going to know tonight what idioms are. No se me preocupen. Ahora vamos a descubrir qué son los idioms. All right. But before we start, I want to ask you a couple of questions about the previous class. All right. So, Karina, can you please uh, ask the first question to, uh, let's see who was here the last class, Eduardo. Can you ask the first question to Eduardo? Okay, Eduardo, uh, when do I use present perfect? When it's an action that starts in the past, but it still continues in the present. Okay, very good, very good, Eduardo. Thank you. Katia, can you ask the question number two to, um, let's see, Danis? Danis, what, what is the affirmative, affirmative structure? Okay. Uh, the affirmative structure is a subject plus help. Los past participle of verb, los complement. Okay, participle. That is for the subjects I, you, we, they, you. But for the subjects she, he, it, then is. She, he, it. Uh huh. Um, and she, 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 he, it, as subject. Los has, uh -huh. los past participle, los complement. Okay, thank you, Dennis. Thank you. So uh, let's see, Carmen, can you ask the question number three to Cesar? Cesar was here last class. Let's take the following quiz as a group class about the present perfect. No, number three. Ah, sorry, sorry, number three. What's the negative structure? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, teacher. Um, uh, uh, I, I problem. I have problem connection. Uh, don't remember. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Oscar. Don't worry. I mean, Cesar. Cesar. Yes. Let's see, Karina. Can you help him? What, what is, is the question? The negative structure. Ah. Uh, okay. For. For plurals, mm -hmm. are, uh, the subject plus have plus not uh, plus, plus participle verb and the complement. Okay. And, and for a third person is subject plus has plus not plus plus participle in the complement. Okay, what is the contraction? What is the contraction, Susie? Susie, welcome. What is the contraction for the negative form? Good evening. Hello. Uh, was hasn't? Hasn't, uh -huh. Or haven't. Haven't. Thank you very much. Thank you, Karina. Yeah. So we are going to take the following quiz as a group about the present perfect. So I need you to help me to uh, complete this exercise, just to see how much uh, you remember. Let me see, uh, it's right here. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So let's see, look at this quiz. It's 10, it's 10 questions, present perfect quiz. All right, number one. We have to choose one option according to what we studied in the previous class, all right? So I want you to participate and tell me, what do you consider is the first answer? Lindsay, not being to friends. Has, is, or have? Has. Has. Has, has. all right, thank you. Number two, 
you finish your homework? Have, have. has, or has? Have. 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 All right. Thank you. Number three. Days, days, they've gone to a rock concert. Dave. 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 Okay. Dave. Number four. Uh, you've been to Japan. Is, have, or has? Have. Have. All right. Number five. We have, has, are, never eaten Mexican food. Have. 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 All right. Number six, Andrea has forget, forgetting, forgotten her umbrella. Got it. Forgotten. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Forgotten. All right. Number seven, was, have, has the sun come up? Has. 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 Okay. Has the sun coming up? Very good. Number eight. The children have find is finding or have found the lost puppy. Oh, oh, found. Have found. Have found. Have found. All Sorry. right. Uh, we was been a vegetarian since four after three years. Since. Uh huh. This is a good question. Yeah. Uh, Four. If you talk about After. the past, four. After. Four. Four. Oh, no. After or since? Four. 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 If, four. After. If, if I talk about my present, the present? Uh -huh. Four. It's right. four. four. I think it's since because the you are talking about from to so it's not finished the action uh -huh. because it's continuing uh, present okay yes. so we use finish i mean for or since 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 if, if you talk since. about since. since if you talk since. about the present okay since okay very since. good and for is for the past and the finish is stopped. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Si sacan 10, me invitan a pupusa. Okay. Number 10. I have worked since 4 by last December. Huh? 4. Bye. 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 Por trabajo. Are you sure? No. no. Four. 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 Okay. Yes. Karina will, okay. will buy the pupusas Same. for everyone. I agree. I agree with Same. Karina. Teacher, it seems because it's not finished. You don't have work right now. So okay. okay, let's check the answers. Look. 90%. Where was the mistake? I don't know if you can see my, my screen. Number nine. Number yes. nine. 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 Number nine, yes. Why? Use signs. So it was four. four. You are you, you are being specific. You are being specific with numbers. And if you give a number, you have to use four for three years. Okay. I have been studying English for three years. You are giving numbers. Numbers. Okay. And if you give months. For example, December, you say since. I have been studying English since January. Okay? You see the difference? Mm. Okay, when yes. you have a, a, 
a specific period of time and you use four. Uh -huh. But when it's open, in a month, complete months, for example, you use scenes. Exactly, Karina, very good. So Karina will buy pupusas for everyone. Excellent. Thank no, you, Karina. <laughs> well, well. Karina will buy the pupusas for everyone. Be happy because after the class, Karina will share the pupusas. Okay. Okay, pupusas and tacos. Thank you. Uh, before we continue, do you have any question about the, the present perfect? No? No question. I need to study more. Uh huh, Susie, tell me. No, I need to study more. More the same. Me. Okay. Study because. Okay, Susie, thank you. All right, look, we have a conversation here. And this is about the topic for tonight. Supposedly, in this conversation, Jenny is a co-worker, is an employee, and she is sick, she is ill. She calls her boss to explain the problem, okay? And in this conversation, you will learn some idioms, idioms, okay? So if you pay attention to the words that are in both letter, these are the idioms in English. Los que están en negrito son los idioms, okay? They are phrases. Phrases that sometimes can't be translated literally, all right? Sometimes, not all the time, they are translated literally, okay? And these okay. phrases are very useful and very common in spoken English. Okay, but this is a little bit uh, uncommon for the people, uh, you know, that have, um, you know, knowledge about this, all right? B because that is really important to know all this by memory. Because if you don't know this by memory, you will lose the track. This is like when we use the, the things that we call in Spanish, very similar to dichos, do you know that? Do you know do you know a, a, a dicho in, in Spanish? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Can you oh, tell please. me one? El que entre lobos anda hoy ahora aprende. Uh -huh. Something like that, okay? Yes, and you know the meaning is different. ¿Qué, qué significa eso? What's the meaning of that? Es decir que si usted anda con buenas amistades, pues se supone que va a tener un... No, pero si usted está con personas negativas, igual hay mucha yes. probabilidad de que se vuelva negativo. Ok, thank you, Carmen, thank you. So, this is similar to that, but, but in this case it's in English, all right? Idioms. So, uh, I want you to please pay attention to the conversation and to the pronunciation because after this we are going to practice in the breakout rooms and you are going to answer a couple of questions, all right? Okay, I start. Good morning. This is Mr. Rhys. Hello, Mr. Rhys. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Weather, weather, okay? Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay? So, do you want me to repeat it again? Just in case you uh, didn't focus on one specific pronunciation, or should we continue? Continue. Continue, okay. But before we continue, tell me, 
Is there any word, any expression that probably is new to you guys? For example, what's the matter? What's going on? What's happening? Yes? Uh, huh? uh, My stomach is killing me, no? Yes. Okay. okay. It's mm -hmm. when your stomach hurts. When you have yeah. a stomach. When you have a stomach, cuando tienen un dolor de estómago. My stomach is okay. My Eso stomach is killing me, right? Yeah. Yes, okay. all right. And any yes. other? I'm as sick as a dog. Okay. I'm as sick as a dog. That means that you are in a dog. No significa que, que somos un dog, ¿verdad? That means that, that you are very, very sick. Okay. Very sick. Muy enfermo. Escucha interferencia. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can you turn off the mics? Thank you. Uh -huh. Tell me. I have a question. Uh, why do you use the word dog for this sentence? Okay. As I said, uh, the meaning is not the same in Spanish. You cannot say, estoy tan enfermo como un perro. <laughs> that is incorrect. Translation literally in this oh. case doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. <laughs> okay. You need to know what it means. Like the example that your classmate Carmen gave us. El que anda entre lobos a huyar aprende. It doesn't mean that I'm going to be doing like the golf sound. No significa que voy a andar huyendo. Huh? American expression. Uh -huh. It's something like an expression. Yes. And in this case, to be sick as a dog means that you are really, really sick. You are almost on bed. Casi estamos en estado de pasar solo en cama. De tan enfermo que estamos. Okay? To be sick, very sick. Okay. There is another one there that you probably may not know the, the, the meaning, guys. Yes, teacher. I was feeling under the weather too. Okay. I was very sick too. Me too. I was sick. Okay. So, I guess okay. Me dice, teacher, estoy enfermo. Ah, huh? fíjese que yo también. Okay, it's a, a it's an agreement. Agreement. This person, Mr. Gris, has an agreement with Jenny. They both were sick. They were sick. Okay. There is another question there. Or no? Let's see. Uh huh. Okay, if you see the expression, there's something going around. That is another uh, idiom. And that expression means that something is circulating, okay? Circulating, something is circulating. Maybe uh, they are talking about a virus, a virus. Yes. Not virus? COVID, not COVID, okay? <laughs> but maybe they are talking about any other type of virus like for example, a bacteria, because they are talking about the, the problems with their stomach, okay? So, probably a bacteria, all right? There is something outside, yes? And let's see, another one, tip-top shape. Do you know yes. what it means? Do you no, know what it means? No. Okay, this means that you are a excellent, excellent. You have no problems, okay? Because as you can see here, Jenny says, I hope that you are feeling better. I hope that you are feeling better. And Mr. Reese says, I'm in tip top shape. Maybe uh, he is better now. He is better now. He's excellent in good conditions, okay? What about the expression, take it easy? The uh, plan? Uh -huh. Don't worry. Uh, Don't worry. 
Don't worry. A lo buen salvadoreño diríamos en español. Ok, no me digan. Oh. Ok. okay. So, uh, let's see. Take it easy. Ok. For example, the teacher is speaking, 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 and you don't understand. You say, teacher, take it easy, please. Ok. Keep it, keep it slow. Go slowly. Ok. Yes. So, yeah. if we have no more questions, we can go and... Answer, we have to practice the conversation first. Listen, my recommendation in this case is the following, because I've seen the cases in the breakup rooms. For example, this is an example. Uh, Karina and I, we work together, okay? And I say, Karina, you are Mr. Reese and I am Jenny. Okay, Karina, you start. And we start doing the conversation, you know, practicing the conversation. Okay, we finish. Okay, continue with the exercise, Karina. No, relax, take it easy. Switch. We switch, yes, yeah. we switch. If Karina started, then I started, okay? And that is how the practice keep on going, okay? And after that practice, we are going to complete or discuss these questions. Number one, why can't Jenny go to work and Number two, how does Mr. Reese respond to the situation? Okay, is that clear, guys? Yes. Are you ready to wake up at night? Yeah. <laughs> night? Okay. <laughs> so uh, let's let's practice. Let's see. Hi, Miss. Hello. Hey, ¿qué será que siempre me quedan juntos ustedes? I, I'm sorry. It is <laughs> raining a lot and I can't hear. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, you are friends. Very good friends. Yes. You know from the previous mm -hmm. module. Se conocen desde el módulo pasado, ¿verdad? Sí. Desde hace varios módulos. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, very good. <laughs> Very good. Okay. 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 Good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what is the matter? I have not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in tip top shape. Take it, take it easy, Jenny. Job to see. I have an, a nice rest of the day. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, Eduardo and you, what do you in the room? Okay. I start. Vaya, voy a comenzar ahora por favor. Ah, vale, vale, vale. <laughs> Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. 
Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Johnny. I hope. What's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is calling stomach is calling me um as thick as a dog okay i understand two days ago i was feeling under the weather too oh really there is some mating going around i hope you are feeling better oh yeah i am just okay take, take it easy Jenny. Thanks a lot, Mr. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, what? stomach. Stomach. All right. You practice with Fidel? No, because I, we have, we, we think that we have a problem with the needle. Maybe, probably, because uh, it's raining. I don't know if there is raining, but here it's raining so hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you practice, you can continue with the questions, please. Okay. Okay. Number one, why can't Jenny go to work? Uh -huh. I am sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in tip top shape. Take it easy, Annie. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Now uh, we ask the question. Well, Nelson, we, Nelson practice. We, yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yo voy entrando a decir verdad, lo siento. Okay, don't worry. Maybe because it is raining, right? Yes. Yeah. Raining. Okay, let's, let's answer the questions. We can Jenny go to the work? No, she can. Um, okay. Why can't Jenny go to work? Mm -hmm. Because I miss. Mm -hmm. Is it raining there? Yes. yes. Here it's raining too. No. no. ¿Podemos decir el por qué o solamente she don't feel well? Um, maybe oh. you can, yes, that, that answer is okay. But check don't. It's don't or doesn't? It doesn't. Or, okay. And ing verb or only feel? I'm feeling well today. 
feel. Uh -huh. She doesn't feel well. I feel. Yes. She just feel well today. Well. Okay. It's raining very hard. It's Mr. Reed responsible. My expression cuts him down. Raining. Yes. yes, it's raining a lot. Raining cuts and dog. And cuts. And he say, how does Mr. Ruiz respond to the situation? ¿Cómo respondió el señor Ruiz? Oh. A ver, ¿qué le dijo? Él le dijo que entendía, porque así se sintió días, hace atrás. dos días. Ajá. Hace dos días. Pero no sé si, si eso sería realmente la respuesta. Esa es la respuesta, decir eso, que él... Yes. O sea, que... Él entendía la situación. Okay. I was feeling. Vamos a poner él o ponemos Mr. Ruiz. Quiero ver. No, él quizá. El dos. El dos. He does understand. Um, uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. We watch the video. Ah, you yes, watch the video. Very good. Watch the video. Watch the video because we have an activity after that. Okay. And I'm Erica. And today we're gonna be. Sorry, teacher. I didn't hear you. Ah, uh, that you can watch the video. Yes. Okay. Watch the video. Yes, uh, in in our group, uh, each one um, see the video in the cell phone or computer. Uh, no, it's okay if you have it in the cell phone because we cannot project the video here. Okay. Mm, I don't understand. Que, que solo lo van a ver así como grupo, por si no lo vieron, ¿verdad? Ah, Ahorita ajá. lo pueden ver porque después vamos a platicar sobre ese video. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, ahorita lo vamos a ver, Ticha. Ok. Thank you. Ok. There sometimes... There sometimes going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in tip top shape. Thank you, Jani. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, did you watch the video? Yes, you watch the video because after this, we are going to have a conversation about the video. That um. video. No, no, no. The video, the no. video is is the same like that you sent. Uh, no, it's not that no. one. The I'm video, not. the video is this one about reporting sick. Okay. So you can you can listen to the video right now at least the first couple of minutes. Because it has, I guess, 11 minutes. It's 11 minutes long. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> so it's a little bit uh, thick. Okay. Just try to get the main idea. Try to get the main idea. Okay, because we are about to start. Okay. Guys, I got a question. Did you watch the video? Did you watch the video that it's on the book? No? Okay, because after this activity, we are going to talk about the video. You 
It's not that video. The video is in, on the book. Ah, okay. Can we check right now? Yes, can, you can check it right now, but don't don't put it here in the screen. Just in your cell phones. Okay. Has a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? The, there is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip top chop tape. Take it easy, Jenny. I, I hope to see you on Monday. Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. I, I got a question. Uh, did you watch the video that it's in the book? No, teacher. Sorry. No, Estado bien ocupado. no, Okay. So get ready because we are about to talk about that. Okay. We are about okay. to talk about that. Okay. Okay. About the video. Finish, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Teaching you how to do it anyway. Yes, you finished. No, get teacher. Not yet. Okay, I'm going to give you a like three more minutes to finish. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Yes, we no. finished the question. And did you watch the video that it's in the book for tonight? No, Miss. Que dejó ayer, que mandó si lo vi. O lo mandó, que mandó ahora. Es, no sé si fue ayer o ahora, pero yo vi un video. No, no it's in the book. No. Oh. Ah, no, no eso no, eso no. Fue okay. número page. It's, uh, let me see. 33. 33. 33, yeah, 33. Okay, okay. So if you, didn't, if you didn't watch it, don't worry. We are about to discuss that, but don't worry. The topic of the video is how to say that you are sick when you're going to work. Just ah, get an okay. idea. Get an idea yeah. and think about your situation, think okay. about you, and then you give me your opinion, yes? Okay. okay. Perfect. We are about to start. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Are we ready? Estamos tratando de ver el video, teacher. Pero es que no, no sé por qué. Bueno, el PDF me copia el link, pero no sé por qué no lo puedo abrir. Okay, don't worry. Just keep in mind an idea of what happens. For example, in your case, when you feel sick, what do you do when you work? When you are going to work, what do you do? You call your boss. You call the secretary. Who do you call when you feel sick? Okay, think about that, and okay. you are going to give me the answer later when we go back to the main room. All right? Okay.
Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. Can you help me with the conversation in Edwin? Claudia, you are Jenny and Edwin is Mr. Ruiz. Edwin. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Es que estaba desconectando el teléfono. No compu. Bueno, eh, ¿Are you star? Yes, you are Mr. Bien. Ruiz. Ok. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me. What's the matter? I am not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something, something going around. I hope you are feel, feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Yanni. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice reset of the day. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Remember, uh, well, I heard I heard one word here. Stomach. Okay, stomach. 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 Mm -hmm. stomach. Okay. Thank you. Uh, now, uh, Dolores, Dolores, and Eduardo. Dolores and Eduardo. Are you there? Yes. Okay. Dolores, you are Jenny and Eduardo is Mr. Ruiz. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. <coughs> Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me what's the matter. I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh yeah, I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thank you lots, Mr. Ruiz. I have a nice rest of the day. Thank you. Have a nice rest of the day. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, Carmen, Carmen and Luis Armando. Okay. Carmen is Jenny and Luis Armando is Mr. Ruiz. Okay, let's start now. Good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz, this is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny, tell me. What is the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am sick as dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in a tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I go to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice race of the rest of the day. Thank you very much. Very good. You see, now I could notice that you have practiced a lot the conversation. The conversation sounded very fluent, very fluent. And that's all about it, to get the fluency in English. All right, Dennis, can you yes. help me with the question number one, please? Okay, uh, what kind, Jenny? Go to work. Okay. Uh, answer? No, lower this is going to answer. Thank you, Dennis. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, because um, because Jenny is thick and she has a stomach. 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 Sto stomach. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Lourdes. Now, uh, let me see. 
Cesar, can you read the question number two, please? Cesar? Is Cesar here? No? Oscar, help me, please. Can you ask the question number two uh, to Karina, please? Okay. Uh, Karina, how does Mr. Reese respond to this situation? Okay. Mr. Reese is empathic with, with Janice because he was sick two days ago as her. Okay, very good. They were in the same situation, right? Uh, thank you, guys. We are going to continue with the next activity, but before I want to pass the attendance list. So when you hear your beautiful name, say present, please. Okay, Alfonso. Anayansi. Anayansi? Yes, teacher. Okay, Carmen. Okay. Cesar Heriberto. Claudia Lorena. Present teacher. Present teacher. Danis Alberto. Dolores Saraí. Present teacher. Eduardo. Present. Edwin. Present teacher. Fidel. Present. Eh, Karina. Present. Katia. Lo Urdes. Present teacher. Luis Armando. Present teacher. Nelson. Nelson. Ok, Oscar. Present. And Susi. Present. Present. Okay. Present. Thank raining. You. Yes, it's raining. <laughs> I yeah. know it's raining. We're about to. We're about to finish almost in an hour. Don't worry. Okay. The time will pass by so quickly. All right. Now, um, we are supposed to talk about the video. Did you watch the video that I mentioned in the WhatsApp group? Did you watch the video, guys? Yes, the video. Teacher. You, you chair. Teacher, sorry, I'm here, but the rain in, no, no me deja escuchar, sorry. Okay, don't worry, Katia. The yes, Lourdes? The video chair in WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's yes. in the book. It's yes. in the book, okay. So my first question, well, the topic of the video is, um, when you call in to work to report you're sick, to report that you aren't feeling, you know, well, you don't feel well, yes? So after watching the video, we have three questions. The question number one is, uh, what's the main idea of the video? Who wants to share what's the main idea of the video? In the video, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. Go ahead. Okay. First Susie and then Karina. Okay, in the video talk about words can you use when you're feeling bad, like flu, like was sick and influenza. Mm -hmm. and and are the an example the one person he and she called his boss okay. and say what feeling okay thank you susie thank you now karina yes uh, i agree with the opinion of susie and the other idea is they use a uh, synonym needs Synonymous, uh -huh. Synonyms, uh -huh. Uh -huh. because they talking about, for example, when you have a, a headache, is headache. when uh 
<laughs> you have a, a heart um, in your head or stomach, stomach? Stomach, uh -huh. uh -huh. It's when you don't feel good with your stomach. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you, Karina. Now, uh, can you tell me, can somebody else tell me, guys, what's the solution that the people mentioned in the video? What's the solution? Huh? What's the solution in the video? Day off. Day off? Or, or rest. <laughs> okay. So if you feel sick for tonight's class, you say, teacher, I need my day off. Or what do you say? You call the teacher, you don't appear, or what do you do? For example, in the class, in the class, let's use the class as the example, okay? What do you do when you feel sick? In my case, when I feel sick, uh, for example, flu, mm -hmm. I I drink uh, hot teas or I drink uh, a medicine, for example, uh, acetaminophen mm -hmm. okay. uh, or other uh, medicine or other medicine only. Okay. Panadol. Yes, or, or Dolofin. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good. Thank you, Dolores. Okay, and let's see. In number three, we have, what can we do when we feel sick before going to work? What do you do? For example, Carmen, what do you do when you feel sick? Imagine that it's, uh, it's Thursday seven o'clock in the morning and you have to be there at eight o'clock and you feel sick you know what do you do in that case on my case i am sick i go by my bus this mm -hmm. is the first thing and i explain the problem that i have and after that i contact the doctor Mm -hmm. I have a lot of pain. I don't have a lot of pain, so I can bring some aspirin. Maybe the, the, the pain or the, the problem that I have. Okay, okay. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you. What about you, Katia? What, what do you do when you feel sick before going to work? Mm. Me, I call to my boss and I say, I feel sick and um, go going to the hospital uh -huh. and, and only that. <laughs> only that. Okay. You don't rest. You don't rest in your house. Yes. Depends, the, the incapacidad, I don't know what, how do uh -huh. you say, incapacidad. Uh -huh. Incapacity? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That incapacity and I rest in my home and I drink the medicine. Okay, very good. Sure. Thank you. Yes, tell me. Use the word leave. Excuse me? You can use leave, leave day. Also, you can leave. use that one. Yes, both, both. You can use both of them. Thank you. Another question, guys. I have a doubt with the with the video because when when explained, he huh? say flu is a virus, but I, I think flu is a gripe. Uh -huh. Entonces, la palabra gripe no no existe gripe. Uh, in English, is general. They use flu. They use flu. Or cough, cough, como un resfriado también. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Flu okay. lo tienen por influenza. Influenza. Sí, es que eso dijeron en el video. Mm -hmm. O sea, dijo flu, influenza y se referían a un virus. Mm -hmm. No como a gripe, así directamente. Mm -hmm. 
lo, ellos lo toman como un resfriar. Un resfriar. Uh -huh. oh. Okay. So we continue. And right now we get into the matter. Look, we have the idioms here. Uh, how to use idioms part one. Today is the part one. In the following days, we are going to check the part two. And as I was mentioning at the beginning, it's really important to memorize these expressions in order to know the meaning, in order uh, not to make mistakes, you know, because probably somebody can tell me, uh, teacher, take it easy. And I don't know what, what is the meaning of take it easy, okay? So in order to avoid making a mistake, we should memorize this expression. That is my humble recommendation, all right? So uh, let's see. Luis, can you help me reading the definition for idioms here? Okay. Idioms are words or phrases which mean something different from their literal meaning. For example, to be at one's, one's ears in work means to have a lot of work. Exactly. Look, that's what I was talking about. Thank you, Luis. To be up in one's ears in work, we cannot translate literally this. Si lo, tradu si lo traducimos literalmente, esto que diría? To be up in one's ears in work. Estar arriba en los oídos de alguien en el trabajo. Okay, it doesn't make sense. No tendría sentido. Uh, the meaning for this expression is to have a lot of work. Tener mucho trabajo. You see? It's very different from uh, the real expression. So, can you share with me right now some idioms that you have heard before? Any idioms that you have heard before, but in English? The principal I heard before is thank it easy. Thank it easy. Okay. And you know what it means. You need to slow down. Okay. You need to slow it down. Okay. Another idiom or expression related to this that you have heard before? Yeah. Teacher. Huh? Teacher. Me voy a desconectar porque está sonando mucho. the meaning of this uh, idiom. Can you tell me guys what what it means as sick as a dog? ¿Qué dijimos que significaba as sick as a dog? Feel bad, very bad. To be very sick, bad. sick, sick. or bad? Sick or okay. bad. Thank you. What is the meaning for under the weather too? Feel under sick the too. weather. Uh -huh, to be sick too. Thank you. In number three, there's something going around. There's something going around. ¿Qué dijimos que era? Like a virus. Uh -huh. Circulation. Something circulating. Okay. Something circulating. Okay. And my stomach is killing me. It's when your stomach is hot. Okay. My stomach. stomach. Very good. My stomach hurts. Okay. My stomach hurts. Thank you. What about take it easy? Slow it down, yes? Okay, can afford to. What it means can afford to. Can afford to. 
It's something impossible, right? Something impossible. Something like impossible. Uh, number seven, this is related to the video. Fall in sick. Fall in sick. You report that you are sick or that you are in a bad condition. Yes? Okay, and in number eight, what did I say that it means tip top shape? No? no is, what is tip top shape? Mm -hmm. Karina? <laughs> Karina? Karina knows the answer. No forma? Okay. Well, no, 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 I am okay. Yeah, okay. I am Feel better. excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me. Fine. You never listened about this one before. Nunca habían escuchado de esto antes. No. no. Only take it easy. Uh -huh. Only take it easy. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So uh, then the idea of this, as I mentioned, is to memorize and to practice. Ahora, si ya sabemos cómo se dice, oh, voy a llamar a mi jefe que estoy enfermo, in English, which, which expression you are going to use? Calling sick. Calling sick. Okay, yes. calling sick. And when you feel better, which expression do you use? Tip top shape. Okay, I am in tip top shape. Okay, very good. And if you feel bad? I'm as sick as a dog. <laughs> okay, very good. I'm as sick as a dog and I want a cock dog. Okay, so look, we have more examples of common idioms in English. These are very common, supposedly common, but you tell me, have you heard about this before? For example, number one, she is a peach. No quiere decir ella es un, un surazno. <laughs> she's not a uh -huh. that means the meaning is she's sweet and helpful ella es eh, como dulce eh, y muy eh, que le gusta ayudar okay? de mucha ayuda she's sweet and helpful okay? but this is not only for the women you can say Luis is a pitch Luis is a pitch okay? yeah. Danis is a pitch Edwin is a pitch. Everybody here in this classroom is a pitch. Todos somos un pitch, okay? Sweet and helpful, okay? And in number two, we have, he is full of beans. Él está lleno de frijoles, teacher. <laughs> no. That means he has a lot of energy, okay? Él tiene mucha energía. Okay, that is the meaning. He has a lot of energy. Uh, in number three, it's not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. No es mi taza de café, teacher. No, no. I don't care for that. O sea, no me preocupo por eso porque no es mi... It's not my business. Okay? Okay? I don't care for that. Esta es una forma más o menos educada de decir no me importa. I don't care. Okay? It's not my cup of tea. No me incumbe. Okay? Uh, let's see. He's full of balony. This is the meaning. He doesn't know what he says. Él no sabe lo que dice. He's full of balony. Right? And the other one is uh, it's just Sour grapes. Grapes. They have resentment. They are bad. They feel bad with me, maybe, or they feel, you know, yes, bad with somebody. Okay. These are some common examples. Algunos comunes, right? Then we we have some others. Maybe have you heard about the first one? In touch. Keep in touch. When you write an email or something, keep in touch. No? No. 
never used it before. Okay, this the meaning is to be in contact or to have communication. Number two, beat around the bush. Avoid saying what you mean. Evite decir lo que usted trata de decir. Eh, better late than never. Este es el que, un, el que algunas personas usan, ¿verdad? Better late than never. Mejor tarde que nunca, teacher. Por eso vengo tarde a la clase, teacher. Better than later. Ok, better late than never, teacher. ¿Ah? Ok. You are going to use this expression when you come late. Teacher, better late than never. Ok. Es como el que está en español que dice es mejor pedir perdón que permiso. Que pedir. <laughs> ok. And then we have break a leg. No significa que se van a romper una pierna, sino que estamos deseando buena suerte a alguien. Good luck. Good luck. Break a leg. Ok. Eh, call it a day. Stop working on something. Stop working on something. Eh, easy does it. Easy does it. Slow down. Este es similar a take it easy. Okay, and then we have get out of hand, get out of hand, get out of control, se me salió de control, get out of control, then hang in there, hang in there, don't give up, no renuncien, es como que la teacher les diga, hey guys, hang in there, hang in there, no, no, no se den por vencidos en la clase, hang in there, continue working. Okay, so these are the, 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 the idioms that we have for tonight. Right now, we are going to create some examples in context. Okay, some examples in context with the idioms that we have here and here. Maybe you can take notes or you can have a screenshot of, the, of this. Okay. So we are going to create some examples using those idioms. And after that, we are going to complete this one. Exercise number five, from one to eight, you are going to write or you are going to discuss the meaning of each idiom, okay? Uh, let's see. And after that, the, the exercise number three, in this case, we are going to prepare a conversation in which supposedly you are sick and you are going to be with your boss explaining the situation, okay? Here it says, student eight, you are sick and you call into your workplace to explain the situation. Student B, you attend the call and ask your classmate what the matter is. Yes, you can use idioms in this conversation, All right? So um, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. I don't know if you have any questions so far. No? No questions? Teacher, ya dejo de llover. Okay. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to create the breakup rooms again. Vamos a volver a crear los breakup rooms. Okay, let's go.
Bye, Bye Miss. Hello. Hello. Questions? Teacher. Aquí la me estoy haciendo yo. Entonces, el primero sería el number four. No, I, I am saying I'm... yes. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. Number two is the one. Uh, to be very sick. Number seven. No. I feel number... Bueno, yo puse el número uno. Sentirse muy mal. Así casa dog. Ah, sí, sí, es, es cierto. Very sick. Ah, es cierto. Sí, sí, es cierto, tiene toda la razón. Sí. Number three. Number three. Is the, is, that is easy. It's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos a ver. I'm feeling well. Okay. Vaya. Number three, number eh, I use five. Es is eight, verdad? Número dos. Two, yes. Being to be sick. very sick. Uh -huh. Para bien enfermo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sick as a dog. <laughs> yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. With one, two, with one, to be three. Sick. As sick as a dog. Mm -hmm. Three to relax, sick to rest. As a dog. Number three to relax, mm -hmm. to relax, to rest. Tip top on shape. Ah, no, no, no. no, no. Que era, que dijo que era, yo no lo logré anotar a tiempo. Can el el tip two? top, en, tip top. Shape dijo que era eh, cuando usted se sentía mejor, como excelente o que se ponga como de toque, <ríe> algo así. Bien, con eso se relaciona. To relax, to rest. Uh -huh. Entonces el 3 iría con el 8. Uh -huh. Sí, yo creo que sí estoy. Tipo bueno, shape. veamos las otras y vemos si, si realmente pega con la 8. Uh -huh. La vale, luego, luego dice not feeling well no me siento bien verdad not feeling well. podría ser con under the weather too sí que ese, ese, ese refrán es algo raro under the weather too sí es como como yo no me siento bien también va debajo del clima también sí ah teacher, <risa> teacher. Es, que, es que sí es así como que habla de que está debajo de algo, del de clima. <risa> ok, debajo de la lluvia. Así okay. como estoy ahorita yo. Ah, no todos estamos así debajo de la lluvia. Porque acá <risa> también está lloviendo. Ok, no, pero acá como les decía, no, no se toma esto como algo eh, literario. literario. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No se puede por lo mismo. ¿Cómo voy a estar yo debajo del clima? <risa> okay. Claro. Pero es como enfermo. que estamos bajo la misma circunstancia, ¿verdad? Exacto. Exacto. Ajá. Uh -huh. yes. Ok. Entonces, en este caso, eh, para mí es ese, eh, Luis. Cuatro. Ajá. Not Uy, qué rico well. huele a palomita. Eh, sí, not feeling well. Under the weather, weather two. Ajá, cabal. No estoy muy convencido, pero bueno. <risa> bueno, vemos, bueno, vemos bueno, bien al final. Ajá. Quiero ver, es el número 2. Uh -huh. bueno, Porque en la primera decía que se sentía... Hello, are we working? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Do you have any questions, ladies? No? No. no. Clear as the water or clear as the orchara? Más o menos. Se está aclarando. Ok. Como el clima ahorita que ha dejado de llover. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay. In great condition is a I feel. Tengo. I feel. Tengo. Tengo sueño, lo más. Tengo. Hi. Tengo. I have a ¿Cómo se dice el dolor de cabeza? No, eso Ajá, es headache. muy complicado de decir. Tengo jaqueca. Headache. Tengo. Headache. 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 Tengo jaqueca. Headache. In your say. Tengo sueño. You say. Yo pensé que tenía Lisa, un par de cosas ahí para la teacher. Ya me las comí, Ya se las comí. Vino <risa> tarde, ya las acabamos. Ah, vine tarde. Ma mañana voy a venir más temprano. Entonces, cuando yo le digo que tengo jaqueca, usted me dice que igual le dijo la otra compañera. Como quien bien. dice, a ustedes se han puesto de acuerdo, pero no es cierto, ¿verdad? Ya, ya le entendí. Como este. que dice, there's something sí, going que... around because, because something no vino, ¿Qué, vea. Qué, qué, qué coincidencia. También usted ah, se enfermó. Ah, <risa> el internet no me funciona, teacher. El internet no me funciona. <risa> no, pero cuando llueve sí es cierto. Uh -huh. sí. Ah, oiga. Sí, ayer sí. Sí me... Cuando ah, llueve sí. Ayer... Ayer sí me costó conectarme, ayer sí que no podía entrar, no tenía formas. Uh -huh. sí, es una desventaja, es una desventaja. Sí, ajá, y que como quizás por la hora se conectan mucho, ¿verdad? Entonces creo que saturan la zona. Ah, aparte de las tormentas. Sí, cabal, cierto. Quiero ver la otra. Dice que tenemos que usar como cuatro. Ya hemos usado. Ay. Ya usamos una, dos. Llevamos dos. Nos faltan dos frases dos. más. Vaya. Este. Nos quedamos. Aunque lo hemos dejado de... aquí, vea. Good morning, Miss Molina. Sí, que parezca, que parezca de verdad. Aquí en Tomeo. <risa> que se vea que el COVID está presente. Sí, no, espérate. Sí. I wake up with fever and <risa> I can. I can and smell. I, <risa> and I can. Espérate, ¿cuál es la palabra? I can. S, S M. E. ¿Cómo se How do you say percibir? Perceive. 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 Perceive smells and um, or I can feel I can feel the smell I can feel or I can, I can smell then what I can smell I can smell yes. <laughs> uh, um, I can smell yes. <laughs> um, I can I wake up with fever I I guess I wake up I suppose I wake up with fever and I can smell. Okay, and see. Wow, that is a bad situation. And um, hello, Fidel. Do you have a couple? Fidel, are you there? Do you have a couple? Can you hear me, Fidel? I'm going to send you with somebody. I guess that your classmate had trouble with the internet. I'm going to send you to your other cohort, I mean to your other classmates. Let me see. Where is Fidel? Fidel. Room one. Thank you. Teacher. 
Yes. Eh, the activity sí. says two. Uh, which one? Six. I don't have yes. time to. No. No, or which one? Oh. No. ¿Qué, que work. si vamos a hacer también la actividad seis. Uh -huh. Fair work. Mm. La actividad en pareja. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, you are going to create a, a conversation. Something like a conversation in which you use the idioms. Ok, ok, teacher. Y la siete ya no, ¿verdad? Ah, bueno, eh, ajá, ah, presentarla. Yo, yo, uh -huh. Ajá, yo present, yes. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Ok, how do you feel these idioms? ¿Cómo han sentido esto de los idioms? Nos costó un poco las cinco, eh, ¿verdad, Luis? Sí, sí. <risa> no. Sí, Nos a costó mí me, un poco. Me... Me cuesta porque no, no me he logrado relacionar muy bien con, con los idioms. Uh -huh. eh, Tengo eh, que practicarlos y, para irlos entendiendo. Uh -huh. eh, the thing is that these idioms, we don't use it. Well, in my case, I sometimes use them. A veces los uso. Uh -huh. okay? Y sí. es de tener en cuenta que cuando los vayamos a usar, sepamos lo que queremos decir. Porque yo no puedo decir, este, supongamos, estoy hablando con los burdes y le digo, eh, los burdes, yesterday I called in sick, queriendo dar a entender tal vez que llamé estando enferma. Uh -huh. Pero en realidad no es, no es eso, sino que significa que me reporté enferma, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces hay que saber el significado de la expresión para poderlo aplicar correctamente. Uh -huh. Sí, está bien. Es de aprenderse los significados. Uh -huh. Sí, uh -huh. sí. Muy bien. Bueno. Ok, Luis. Bueno, entonces el ejercicio 6. Es crear una conversación. Es una conversación, un estudiante A y un estudiante B. Uh -huh. Uno que está enfermo y el otro que que le va a resultar <risa> dice que ah que es cierto no había leído ese estudiante A tú estás enfermo y llamas a tu lugar de trabajo explicando la situación uh -huh. y el estudiante B atiende la llamada y pregunta a su compañero verdad cuál es el problema y luego cambian roles mm, bye entonces bueno. eh, bueno, nosotros creamos la conversación y luego decimos quién es quién va. Podemos decir como good morning, good morning. Eh, good morning. Aquí vamos a tener que poner... Es este, eh, ah, pues llama al lugar del trabajo, al lugar del trabajo. Sí. ¿Sí? Entonces podría decir good morning. I wonder, ¿Cómo? Eh, Podría ser que yo le llamo. Sí. Ajá. Good morning, Luis. Eh, I, I calling. No, pero no, no, no vamos a iniciar así porque si no vamos a, a entrar una vez con los modismos. Vamos con los idioms. Eh, good morning, Luis. Eh, le, digo, le voy a decir como, are you... Are you there, my my boss? Is correct, teacher. Repeat, please. Are you there, my boss? Are, are you my boss? Is there. Oh, is, ah, there. is there my boss? Is there. Uh -huh. is there. Ah, okay. 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 Is there my boss? You se me dice como. Eh, Yo le respondo. No. Yo le respondo, no. What is your problem? Ajá. What, ah, do, como, what do you need? What do you ajá, need? Como, hi, Lourdes. Eh, no, he, he isn't. Oh, he, ajá, he isn't here. Hi, Lourdes. Él no está. Eh, ajá. He ah. isn't here. Sí, bueno, voy a ir anotando. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Yo comienzo. Good morning, Luis. Is there my boss? Dice el estudiante A. Usted es el estudiante A. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
is there? My boss. No, porque él está afirmando. It's late. Ah, ok, it's late. Ajá, okay. uh -huh. it's late. Ajá. Uh -huh. Porque ya es tarde. <laughs> ok. I am a late. sick as a dog. I have a headache. What a coincidence. Roxana, too. There's some sun going around. My head is killing me. Take it easy and go to the doctor. Thanks a lot. Thank you for calling me sick. Ahí tenemos, ahí, ahí tengo ¿Ah? una pregunta. Okay. Uh -huh. Con la última lo hemos dejado calling in sick, pero la número 7 es calling sick. Um, Entonces yes. no sabemos si dejar solamente calling me. No, así está bien. ¿Saben por qué? Porque después del for, si es un verbo el que va a, a ir ahí a la parte del for, tiene que ir con ING. Es cierto, es cierto, uh -huh. no me acordaba de esa regla, es cierto. Uh -huh. Thank you for sí. calling in sick. Está bien, uh -huh. está bien. Así. Ok. Ah, pues pa matamos dos pájaros en un solo. Ah, vale. <risa> teléfono okay. también. You, you finished. Yes. Ok, le voy a compartir la pantalla ahorita con algo que le va a gustar. <risa> I guess. So, can okay. you please stop sharing? Ah, ok, ahorita, ahorita, ahorita mismo. Ok. Let me see. Ya van a ver. So, como veo que son bien buxas, ustedes dos van. Ah, pues claro, <risa> claro. Vale. Déjenme ver, voy a hacer un poco más grande la pantalla. Va. We are going to work in this exercise. Can you okay. please take a screenshot? ¿Pueden tomar un screenshot del de exercise? Ok. Ok. So, you are going to, you are going to match. Vamos a unir las, eh, el idiom está acá del lado izquierdo, idiom. Y eh, the definition, the meaning is on the right hand. Ok. So, you need to match. Vamos a hacer el match de eso. A ver cómo, cómo andamos. Okay. 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 My okay. recommendation, my recommendation, not to use Google, not to use Google. Just read. Okay. For example, let's do the first one together. Don't add fuel uh, to the fire. Don't add fuel to the fire. Okay. No I think is. Uh -huh. Tell me. Uh -huh. Don't make a bad situation. Number three. Don't make a bad situation even worse. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Exactly. So you a penny that... save is a penny ear. Un centavo es eso, un penny. Uh -huh. Un centavo salva. Ya escucha, esa frase sí la escuché en una película. Uh -huh. <laughs> un centavo ahorrado es un centavo ganado. <laughs> ah, no, no, algo así okay. escuché en una película. Okay. I'm number one is good to save money uh -huh. rather than spending in was. In wasting it. Wasting it. Uh -huh. ah, wasting it. Around the clock. Around the clock. All okay. the time. 24 hours. Let's see. Uh -huh. Around okay. the clock. Okay. Let's see. 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 Let's Forty-four hours. Mm -hmm. yes. ah, bien y vamos, bye. So, okay. so you continue. Ah, ah, ya ven okay. que son bien Okay. Let's work. Ahorita, ahorita. Okay. Está. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. We finished the conversation and the exercises. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let me share something with you. Can you stop sharing, Katia? 
I'm going to share my screen uh -huh. right now. Okay. Let's see. We have one more practice. We are going to have a uh, matching exercise. Okay, if you can have a screenshot, you can have a screenshot, do it. In this case, we have a matching exercise in which we are going to connect the idiom with the meaning. Okay, I don't want you to use Google. I don't want you to use the translator. No, just read and match. I'm going to help you with number one. For example, if we say, don't add fuel to the fire. Don't add fuel, no le echen como más gasolina, más gas al fuego. No le eche, este en español es no le echen más leña al fuego, ¿verdad? Creo que mm -hmm. sí va. Ok, ahora buscamos dentro de las opciones que tenemos al lado derecho, cuál pudiera ser la que mejor encaja con ese idioma. Don't make a bad situation even worse. Ajá. Ok. Entonces ya tenemos una. Okay. Do you understand the exercise? Yes. Ok. So let's work on that. Katia, you have the screenshot. Yes? Yes. Ok. Go ahead. Sorry. Ok. Um... Uh -huh. TikTok, the time is almost over. Hey. TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, finish. No worries. You finish. Yay. Thank you. Uh, we are, I'm going to share something with you. Can you please uh, let me share my screen with you? Eh, que si puedo compartir la pantalla. Uh, no, I'm going to share it. Stop sharing. Ah, ah. Okay. Wait, me, please. Uh, dejar de compartir. Bye. Okay. Uh -huh. El dúo dinámico le llaman a ustedes doble. Of course. <laughs> okay. Ni, ni tan dinámico. <laughs> Qué malo. Okay. So, look, we have this matching exercise. Lourdes, please have a screenshot. Okay. Uh, in this case, we are going to match the idioms with the definitions, okay? Definitions, mm -hmm. the meanings. For example, I'm going to help mm -hmm. you in number one. Number one, don't add fuel to the fire. Como que no le agreguemos más eh, gasolina. Fuego gas. la leña. Gas al fuego. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. En español decimos, no le eches más leña al fuego, ¿verdad? Bueno, no leña ah, al pero fuego, en, inglés, en inglés uh -huh. es, don't uh -huh. add fuel to the fire. To the fire. Uh -huh. Which one of this can be the best match? Uh -huh. Maybe don't make don't a bad make situation a even worse. Okay. Don't mm -hmm. make a bad situation even worse. Yes, that's correct. So, do you understand the exercise? Yes. Okay, I'm going but... to stop sharing and you work on this. I don't want you to use okay. Google. No, you don't use a translator. No, just read and think. <laughs> okay? Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Wait me, Luis. Please. Okay. Only... Aquí ya le puse, solo la voy a recortar la pantalla para estar más grande y la comparto. ¿Cómo? Hello, teacher. I look like blue. Yes, I am blue. I am blue. You are blue. Yes, I'm blue. Soy triste. De tan triste que estoy. No, okay. Let me share something with you, ladies. This is about. Okay. Uh, we are going to work in this exercise. This is a matching exercise, right? We have the idioms on the left side and we have the meaning on the right side. Okay. We are going to work in number one together. Don't add fuel to the fire. 
Okay. Donut so, fuel to the fire. Much. Que no le agreguemos más oh, eh, gas o gasolina al, al, al fuego. Yes. Okay. It's like a don't make a bad situation even worse. Exactly. That is a correct match. So, do you understand the exercise? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you have a screenshot of the exercise, please? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Let's work. Okay. A penny. Eduardo, are you there? Yeah. Okay. Can let me can you let me please share my screen with you? Mm, yeah. Okay. Where is Oscar? I don't know. I actually I don't realize that I was alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe he, he has internet connection problems because I don't see him online. Okay. All right. Can you please allow me to share my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but I need you to stop sharing yours. Okay. Done. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so as you are alone, you're going to work on this. Look, I know that you are smart, so probably you won't have any trouble. Okay, let okay. me see. Uh, here we have an idiom matching exercise. On the left side, you have the idioms, and on the right side, you have the <laughs> meaning. All right. I don't want okay. you to use. I don't want you to use Google. I don't want you to use the translator. No, just okay. read and think about the possible match for each one of them. For example, let's do the first one together. Don't add fuel to the fire. Okay, uh, it's good to say money. No, something is imagined as real. No, don't make a bad situation even worse. Could be, picture can give more information. Mm -hmm. All of the time, 24 hours, being away from, I think the third one, don't make a bad situation even worse. Exactly, that is a correct answer for that idiom. All right, okay. so I see that you understood the topic. Can you please have an, a screenshot of the exercise? There, this one is not in the. No, it's the, not. No, okay, no, it's me, not in the let book. Let me use mm -hmm. the tool. Mm -hmm. You want? Uh, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. You want? Aquí está. Okay, done. All right. I got it. So, continue working. Okay, let me see. A penny save. A penny safe is a penny earned. It's good to say money, right? Just. Sí. Spanish. Pero, pero es bonito. Yes. Finish. Okay. Ya hicimos yes. el matching. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Ya ven que son bien boxas, ustedes dos. Can you see? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so give me just a couple of minutes for the other ones to finish because there are some groups that hasn't finished yet and this is the last activity. So that means okay, that okay. we are about to sleep, right? So in I the meantime, okay. in the meantime, okay, yes, we can check it. Let's see, donut full, okay, a penny save. It's good to save money, yes, around the clock, all of the time. Mm -hmm. A picture is worth a thousand words. Pictures can give more information than just words. Yes, and it's all in your head. Something is imagined, not real. Uh huh. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Being away from someone you love makes you love me. Okay, it's okay. Okay. Good. Very good. good. That's good. <laughs> so maybe you can practice the conversation. In the meantime, your classmates finish. Okay. Yes. Practice okay. and then we'll start. Okay, thank you. Okay. Good morning, Miss Molina. Very good. Hi, teacher. So, thank you. Let's see, Donut yeah. Food 2. 
Don't make a bad situation, okay? A penny save is a penny earned. It's good to save money. Yes, around the clock, all of the time, 24 hours. A picture is worth than a thousand words. Pictures can give more information. It's all in your head. Something is imagined and absent makes being away. Yes, it's okay. Que estén bien, que estén bien. Teacher. Yes, they are okay. Esto no está en el libro, pero si ustedes quieren pueden conservarlo, ¿verdad? Para uh -huh. eh, aprend aprender más vocabulario con relación a los idioms. Uh -huh. Ok, so we are about to start now, guys. Okay. I wish you okay. good luck. Tal vez lo puedo okay. mandar por el, ¿cómo se llama? Lourdes, por el WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Lo mando. Sí, cuando pueda. Ok. Thank you so much. Hello, hello. Hi, Miss. Hi, welcome back, Danis. Welcome back, Oscar. Aquí, ahí estábamos pegados. Welcome back to the jungle. Comprando pupusas andaban para todo, pero eso es bueno. Sigo con las pupusas. Ok. No. Pupusas en tacos. All right. Chicken Let's see. Chicken bread. Yeah. Para con pollo. Ok. No, fries. Fries. Ah, ok. French fries. Right. All right, let's see. I need one person to help me with the exercise from one to four. That is Dolores. From one to four, what do you have, Dolores? Dolores Araí? Sí, aquí, aquí estoy, perdón. Okay. Uh, number five, activity. Uh, no, uh, yes, number five from one to four. Ah, okay. Number one, it's my stomach is killing me. Okay. Number two? Number two, it as sick as a dog. Mm -hmm. Three? No, number three, it's take it easy. Mm -hmm. Number four is under the weather weather too okay under the weather under weather too thank you dolores uh, okay. susie susie number five two eight number five is eight tip top shape mm -hmm. number six don't have time to two is can't afford to mm -hmm. number seven many people have the same thing is there something going around? In number eight, to phone the office to say you are sick is number seven, calling sick. Very good, thank you, thank you. So the conversation goes to Oscar and Eduardo. Okay. Good Eduardo. Okay, uh, okay. hello. Hello, Eduardo. This is Oscar from Sales Department. I have a little situation. Hey, Oscar, nice to hear you. A situation, what is going on? I wake, I wake up with fever and I can't smell. Oh, that is a bad situation. You have to rest a lot and go to the hospital as soon as possible. Yeah. I had a video call with my doctor and because of the symptoms, uh, he says uh, that I have to go to the laboratory for the that is, a good I, that is a good idea because Martin from IT department was feeling sick too. Oh, yes. Maybe there is some things going around. Okay, Oscar, take it easy and have some rest and see you next week, okay? Thank you, Eduardo. Okay, Finish. very good, very good. Thank you so much. Now, in each one of the groups, we share this, right? Uh, let's see. 
the lower desk. Can you tell me what is the correct uh, meaning for number two? Read the idiom and read the meaning, please. Lower desk. Oh, hello, sorry. Uh, number two. Yes. Okay. The the number two, a penny saved is a penny earned. And the meaning is it's good to save money rather than spending it and watching it. And wasting it. Wasting it. Very good. Thank you. Luis, number three. Okay. Around the clock. Mm -hmm. Around the clock is all of the time, 24 hours. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, let's see another person. Karina, number four. Oh, okay. A picture is worth a thousand words. Pictures can give more information than just words. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Katia, number number what? Number five. It is all in your head. Mm -hmm. Something is imaginate, not real. Okay, thank you. And the last one goes to let's see. Susie, help me please. The last one. Okay. Nothing makes the heart grown fonder. Is I can see. Is being away from someone you love makes your love even strong. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. So we are coming to an end, guys. I'm going to pass the attendance list for the last time and then I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, another interesting topic. So don't miss classes. Let's see, Alfonso is here. And Ayansi, she got internet connection problems. Carmen Lisset. Present. You stay with me, Carmen, tonight. Yes. yes Cesar. Thank you. Okay. Cesar. Present. Claudia. Present, teacher. Eh, Danis. Present. Dolores. Present. Eduardo. Present. Eh, Edwin. Edwin also had internet connection problems. Fidel? Fidel? Karina? I'm here. Katia? I'm here, teacher. Lo Urdes. Luis Armando? Present, teacher. Nelson Ivan? Present, teacher. Oscar Fernando? Present. And Susana Carolina. Present. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you can memorize these idioms for your vocabulary. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. -bye. Okay, Carmen. Hello, teacher. Hello. How did you feel in today's class? Was easy, difficult, or so-so? Well, I think that what is easy, but we have to practice a lot because it is items, but it's not normally spoken for us in normal in, in the in the normal day. Exactly. Exactly. Who is Alfonso? Uh, I Who guess, a... yes, I guess that he always stay like this, but let me see if I can. Uh, let me see. Alfonso. Alfonso, can we see us tomorrow, please?
So if I remove him, he won't be able to connect tomorrow. So that's why I cannot remove him. I was checking, okay. but anyway, okay. just anyway. let's pretend that it's you and I. Yes, Alfonso? Okay, <laughs> okay. he's gone, he's you see? He's gone. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. So it's, 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 the, the, it's very different topic because it's not an extrapper, because it's a normally idioms mm -hmm. that you maybe maybe listen in the United States or maybe a some American people in El Salvador, but it's not normal but it's normally in span in Spanish with our idioms. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. So um I I only have a question, for example, when you say is it is not my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. For example, you can you can't use these phrases or this idiom in your in your in your work, in your work. Mm -hmm. Because the the traduction or meaning is like uh, it's not my it's not my problem that you only use what, what phrase can you use for example in your work okay uh maybe you can say well that is not my that is not my business i can help you but okay it's not my my thing in a very polite way but if you mm -hmm. say eh, it's not my cup of tea <laughs> That is okay too. That is okay too. But it's better to say the idiom, it's not my cup of tea, than saying, I don't care. I don't, I care. don't care. I don't care is rude. That is rude. rude. Uh -huh. okay. okay. So you, you can use that idiom. Or you can say, well, it's not my business, but if I can help you, I will help you. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. In order not to sound too rude. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and what about the, how do you, how do you say when you are sick and, and you have to give the day, for example, leave day or leave off or day off because day off is used, you see normally with vacation, for example, yes. or uh -huh. some permits, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But when you, when you write leave, I am leave. Mm -hmm. uh, are talking about you are maybe sick, right? Yes, the incapacity, the incapacity that you have. Mm -hmm. I yes. didn't listen incapacity. For example, for, for example, we use um platform. unable. You also can use unable. Unable, mm -hmm. unable. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. These are synonyms. Synonyms. Uh huh. Okay. Unable. Synonym. I'm unable. Yes, you say I'm unable because of my health. I'm not in good conditions, so I go okay. to go back tomorrow or maybe the day that you are assigned to go back to work. Mm -hmm. And when you are using under the weather too, it's like the feeling, for example, uh, maybe I, I feel sick in another day or I, I don't know the, the activity, but I am the same mood, for example. Mm -hmm. It's like it, that or not. Under, under the same weather, it, that expression, that idiom, it's like under the same circumstances. For example, yes. if I say, I, I am sick today, I feel tired, I feel, you know, mm -hmm. running nose, running nose and that. So you want to agree with me? You use that expression, that idiom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like that, uh, by the same situation or circumstance, right? Yes. Okay. Exactly. And tip top shape, why, why did you don't say, for example, I am shape only? Um, no, tip because the, the, the correct one is tip top shape. I'm in tip top okay. shape. Mm -hmm. That is the full idiom. That means that you are okay. Okay. Right. No, the the well, I might the, the idioms are 
a lot of things. So yes. can you give us more example? For example, we have done a few to the fire. Mm -hmm. Those are, are some, well, in fact, there are many idioms and some of them are related to different areas. For example, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to talk about food, I know two very common idioms in English. For example, uh, if I say, I was eating like a pig, that means that I ate a lot, a lot. Okay. Uh -huh. There is another one that you say, um, I am picking up food because I'm full. Picking up food. Picking up. Uh -huh. That means that I'm not enjoying the meal. I don't enjoy the food. I don't like it. I'm full. Um, something that's going on with me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher, for explaining the okay. different kind of idioms. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, let me ask you one question. Did you check? Me. Did you check the other video conferences that we had? The days that you were busy. Sometimes, teacher, sometimes, but I will try to finish the platform on, on well, next, some, next Saturday, because okay. I watch it, uh, watch it only a part of video or some videos, yes, mm -hmm. but um, really I'm very, very worried because it's my first time that I am have a absent. Right? Okay. So in my last model, I always, say a uh, time or before the time and uh, always I did my homework at time, my middle terms and a lot of things. But uh, in this case, I, I, was, I was very worried because I, I can assist. Okay, but, but did, you, did you talk to the, to the staff? Did you talk to English Corporation? Yes, yes, teacher, I, I, called with Hazel and today with Jimmy, mm -hmm. but I will talk tomorrow too because I want to play more a lot because Jimmy called me, but I was in a meeting. I was in a meeting, so I, I can complete all the conversation. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. So okay. I, I, I will try to be on time and be, be and do the all your the, the task right okay yeah that is a good thing to do okay yes. Carmen so if we have no more questions I hope that you have a nice night and sleep well thank you teacher have a good night too thank you very Goodbye. much see you tomorrow see you tomorrow